For the tracery design, I first take uh, two sheets of cardstock. I usually measure them out to fit in a particular place, and then I take uh, uh, different colors. I'm going to show you a collage effect um, that's going to be part of this tracery design. And I just collected there. I just showed you some papers that I collected. Now I'm cutting a just a piece of paper that I'm going to glue those those papers to. Those papers include uh, some greeting card. Uh, old greeting cards that I, I cut parts of the greeting cards out. It also includes some cardstock and paper, <coughs> scrapbook paper. Right now I'm placing them upside down and I'm going to choose uh, two of those pieces. I'm going to I'm going to glue the backs of them. And this is all pretty random. You can glue this paper to you can glue this uh, collage these collage pieces to the paper in any way you want. But here I'm just going to create a, a kind of a base color by taking two of the, the collage pieces. That's part of a greeting card right there. I just cut out the greeting card piece. And that's a, another piece of, uh, I can't remember if that's a piece of greeting card. When I flip it over, I'll be able to see it. No, it's that's actually a, a piece of scrapbook paper. And I just uh, glue them to the paper. And now I'm going to I'm going to cut the other pieces up into smaller pieces, and I do this in a random kind of way. I don't really think too much about <clears throat> what I'm doing here. I just uh, kind of like Jackson Pollock, <laughs> where he uh, splattered paint onto a canvas. I'm going to pretty randomly glue these pieces to the piece of paper where I glued those two large pieces. That's a piece of a greeting card right there. I just like the colors on the greeting card, so I just you know cut that part out. You can use magazine clippings, junk mail, almost anything. I like to recycle as much paper as possible. Okay, now I spread glue over the area that I want to cover with the, uh, the collage pieces. <coughs> it's early in the morning, so my throat's a little froggy. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm just gluing them pretty randomly, but I, I try to cover as much of a single surface as I can. It's okay for you to leave little spaces in it, but in this case I, I don't want to leave any spaces. Then I spread glue over the top of it. Um, and The reason I'm doing this is because some of the pieces are lying on top of pieces that don't have glue on them. And by spreading the glue on top of it, it, it will get all of the pieces glued to this page pretty thoroughly. Once I've done that, I with my fingers I'll, I'll press them down and I'll also spread the glue over them evenly. It's pretty messy. You get a lot of glue on your fingers and you have to uh, you know, wash the glue off after you've done this. So now there's a pretty even thin layer of glue over the top of them. And that's what it looks like. Looks even pretty interesting just the way it, it is right there. And I'll set it aside so it can dry while I go on to the next part of the process. I take the cardstock, the two cardstock pieces together and I fold them in half together like that. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, create create a frame for this tracery design. So what I do is I, I I cut out the center. You can either do this as a rectangle or you can cut it as a contoured design the way I'm doing this cutting right here. There's a little contour, a little bump that I created. And then when I come to the top, I'm going to uh, 
cut a little peek into the frame right here. I'm coming down a little bit and I set that aside and now I just concentrate on the frame. The frame has kind of a butterfly shape to it now. It's up to you what, what kind of shape you want to do. As I said, you can do a rectangular uh, cutout. Now I take one of the, the two frame papers and I glue it to the other one. The reason I do it this way is because when I glue both pages together, and you can do it that way if you want, it doesn't fold as well when it has glue in the middle. So I like to glue the, the pieces separately, glue them together separately, I mean. I could have uh, just taken the whole rectangle and you know glue both pieces of the rectangle together, but I decided to do it this way instead. Now I'm pressing it, and you'll find that it most likely will be pretty warped. But once you're finished with the whole thing, that warping will go away because paper stretches when it's wet with glue. I'm getting the extra glue off my fingers. Now, this part right here is where it gets interesting. I'm, I'm going to, I'm taking these two pieces together, and I start to cut out interesting shapes and designs. You can you can either do uh, flowing shapes like this. You can you can do shapes of people. You you can do uh, rectangular shapes, triangular shapes, any shape, any kinds of shapes you want. Whatever you think will be aesthetically pleasing to the viewer, and whatever you're interested in doing. I tend to like flowing shapes, <laughs> although I've used. Uh, rectangular shapes too. As you can see the uh, the paper sculpture vending machine in the background I have a combination of flowing shapes and rectangular and triangular shapes. Then I glue the individual shapes together. I mean the uh, you know the two pieces of paper comprising each of the flowing shapes. Uh, I'm basically doing the same thing that I did with the frame, gluing them together as one piece. Now I'm going to create what I call the interior design. And in this case, I'm, gonna, I'm going to use a solid piece of paper that has, uh, <coughs> this is origami paper. I'm going to trace around this and I'm doing it on the back side of the paper. The white side of the of the cardstock stencil is uh, going to be the front of the the design. That's why I'm doing it on the back side like this. Now I'm doing a what I call the interior design. As you can see, I've drawn inside the lines about a quarter of an inch inside, and then I cut that part out. In this case, this is going to have two interior designs on this one uh, stenciled cardstock piece. And these are going to fit. That's the back side. That's the uh, front side right there. And that's how they're going to fit inside this when the whole thing is done. I don't glue these in yet. I just want to show you how they, how they fit in, in the interior like that. Now that's the upside. Normally, I now because I know the white is the upside, I don't really have to do this, but if I use cardstock that has the same color on the back and the front, I always write up on the side that's going to get that interior design. 